The Greater Victoria tennis community is rallying behind a plan to bring clay courts to the capital region. There is a not-for-profit group that says it'll raise the money, it'll build the courts, and even attract international clay court tournaments. It might sound like a straight sets victory, but critics describe it more as a double fault. As CTV's Andrew Johnson shows us tonight, new at 6, they say there's nothing wrong with the tennis, but everything wrong with where those courts would be built. If you play tennis in Greater Victoria, you won't have any trouble finding a court. A hard court, that is, the only kind most of us have ever played on. But maybe that's about to change. Clay could be on the way. These two can't wait. I love it. A lot of sliding around, you get a little dirty, and you feel like you're really getting into it. Well, I think it's taking too long. The Cedar Hill Clay Court Tennis Society probably thinks so too. The not-for-profit wants to serve up an eight-court clay facility behind Cedar Hill Rec Center. It's a softer surface, easier on the joints, and more playable in the rain. Clay courts are actually played throughout the world. Europe, Europe, uh, a lot of people, their exposure to tennis is on clay. A lot In South America, lots of other countries have clay. We just don't see it as much here in North America, but we're hoping to change that. The society says it will raise more than $1 million for the facility from pre-sold memberships and private lenders. The proposal is to, to, for us to build it and maintain it ourselves, so completely without public dollars. But what about the people who live in the area that would miss the field and the ball diamonds behind the rec centre that will be lost? Yeah, they're not happy. They won't be kicking the soccer ball around here anymore, of course, if the clay courts are built, and that's one of the biggest problems the community association has with the plan. Public park is becoming an area to be enjoyed only by paying customers. Parkland cannot be or should not be given to a private organization for its own private use. The Tennis Society is promising to donate court time for public Sanish rec programs, but critics say it adds up to little more than an hour a day. Not enough, not even close. Find another site. This site already has a lot of stuff on it. Um, and this is one of the few open field areas for children in this area. The proposal went to an open house last week. You can weigh in at Saanich.ca. Andrew Johnson, CTV News, Saanich.